a great deal of forbearance in the face of things that they disliked in other people. But we did come through it, and there's no doubt that it has coloured this country and its ethical principles very much, helped create the society in which we live today. I often think that when we're talking about tolerance, there's sometimes a slight danger that we end up, and this seems to be a worldwide phenomenon, on talking about tolerance between groups. Ultimately, that cannot be the foundation of tolerance, because tolerance is about the rights of the individual. The right of an individual to manage whether has been suggested by wearing a niqab or not wearing a niqab according to choice. The right of a person to change their faith if they wish to, even in defiance of the group or family from which they come. The right of people to exercise their own conscience and have a direct relationship with their own maker in terms of how they wish to manifest a faith or none at all. That, I think, is actually one of the key underpinnings of the tolerance that we have striven for and actually enjoy in this country. It's not, unfortunately, the model of tolerance that is often described elsewhere. And here, therefore, Your Holiness, is our great opportunity, because the fact that Britain has diversified so much in the last decades, that people have come here of different faiths from every corner of the planet, and the fact that we all live together and strive together in to, to achieve good works does provide us with a most remarkable opportunity to spread the distinctive brand of tolerance that brings us together and emphasize it on a worldwide basis as a model which far from creating chaos actually is the foundation on which respect love between individuals can be based and with it of course the bringing of people together for the common good. My uh, Liberal Democrat colleague and friend just said how proud he was of being a member of the coalition. So am I. It's been an eye-opener. Something which makes one think differently about the things that one has to do. These challenges are actually good for us. The challenge of difference is good for us. It is our ability to overcome that and to do it peacefully and with love, which is the foundation of our humanity. Thank you very much for inviting me this evening. I now invite Mr. Rafiq Hayat to introduce the winner of the International Ahmadiyya Peace Prize. The Amdiya Muslim Peace Prize for the Advancement of Peace is an international award that was launched in 2009. It is an award in recognition of an individual or an organization's contribution to the advancement of the cause of peace. On the occasion of our annual convention last July, the winner of the 2010 Amdiya Peace Prize was announced and it was Mr. Abdul Sattar Eidi of Pakistan. Mr. Edi founded an amazing organization that started by dispensing free medicine and then went on to develop a maternity home and emergency service initially to serve Karachi but then to the whole of Pakistan and other countries. His wife Mrs. Bilkis Edi is equally devoted to this work and through their joint vision the organization has flourished and saved hundreds of thousands of lives. A simple, humble man, to this day, despite being nearly 83 years of age, Mr. Edi has a youthful spirit of sacrifice that drives him to serve humanity every single day. Just to give you an idea of his work, his organization has a fleet of 1,800 ambulances, 335 welfare centers, 28 marine rescue ambulances, shelter homes providing refuge for seven and a half thousand people, animal shelters and free food kitchen in 20 cities, immunization centers and adoption centers, 
and it also has a well-established international organization having served in Pakistan, Russia, Lebanon, Bangladesh, Egypt, Bosnia and the United States. The ED Foundation is a shining example of its success through sacrifice and determination for the love, go or love of God and service to humanity. We are honored to award the prize to Abdul Sattar Idi Sahib. True to his lifelong service and due to the demands on his time from humanitarian work as he is currently in Japan, Mr. Idi is unable to join us tonight but is currently uh, has sent a message uh, to, to this gathering tonight and the award will be received by the head of the European uh, section, Tariq Iman Sahib, on his behalf. I am very happy that I have been able to get the people of the world to get the और मुझे अवार्ड देने का काम किया मैं खुश हूं कि कोई इंसानी नाते मुझसे तालुकात करता है तो मैं कोई तफरी को नहीं मानता और मेरा काम तफरी भी नहीं है मेरा काम इंसानियत का है और इंसानियत सबसे बड़ा मजहब है जब इंसान इंसान बन जाता है तो फिर कोई से भी तालुकात नहीं रहते सिर्फ डायरेक्ट अल्लाह से और इंसानियत से ताल्लुक होता है मेरे यहां इतने लोग दाखला होने आते हैं मैं नहीं पूछता कि तुम्हारा मजहब क्या मैं यूं समझता हूं कि इंसान है दूसरा ये पैदा बच्चे को मार के फेंकते थे उसके लिए भी मैं अपील करता रहता हूं मारों में और भी एक इंसान है उनकी जान है और इन बच्चों को हमारे झूलों में डाल दो लाखों लोग बेहोला तरस रहे हैं उनको हम दें और आज अमन के लिए सबसे बड़ी बेहतर इंसानियत है और इंसानियत के नाते इंसानों से प्रेम करें मोहब्बत करें और इंसानियत फैलाने की कोशिश करें मैं अहमदिया जमात का शुक्रिया करता हूं कि ये लोग मुझे इंसानी नाते एक अवार्ड दे रहे हैं और ये अवार्ड इंशाल्लाह इंसानों की भलाई के अंदर इस्तेमाल होगा जब इंसानी नाते में काम करता हूं तो मुझे खुशी होती है कि मैं अल्लाह को राजी कर रहा हूं आपने यह जो कदम उठाया है यह अल्लाह को राजी करने का काम है और आप जो इंसानी नाते आप आपके जमात के थ्रू जो काम कर रहे हैं मैं अल्लाह से दुआ करता हूं कि आपको अल्लाह कामयाब करे शुक्रिया आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट मिस्टर तारिक अवान टू से अ फ्यू वर्ड्स एंड टू जस्ट इनफॉर्म द ऑडियंस द अवार्ड ऑफ द प्राइज इज अकंपनीड बाय अ चेक फॉर 10000 पाउंड्स थैंक यू वेरी मच Honorable Leader of Jamaat Ahmadiyya Muslim Mirza Masroor Ahmad Sahib, Members Parliament, House of Lords, Excellencies, Mayor, Councillors, Community Leaders, Media, and Distinguished Guests, Assalamu Alaikum. First of all, I would like to thank you, Mr. Atawlak, who properly introduced me about Jamaat Ahmadiyya work and humanity efforts. On behalf of ED Foundation, I would like to thank you for nominating Maulana Abdul Sattar Eidi for Peace Prize 2011. While I received Peace Award for Eidi Saab, he is processing the aid for the support for the victim of tsunami in Japan. He continued to spread the message of peace and protect those who are vulnerable. 
I will take this opportunity to appreciate the efforts of all those who national and international organizations, personalities who always protect their rights of the weakest. From healthcare to building homes for orphans and from social to educational,